Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm just getting set up here on my iPad. All right. So happy. What What is the 18th of December 2021? So we have one week till Christmas. Um, I hope you guys are healthy and ready for the holidays. But I thought that I would do an online class. I'd try something a little bit different. So we're going to make these three cards today. So this is the first part of a three-part series where we are going to make three cards with the theme of love and friendship. I'm just trying to get my iPad up, set up here so I can see comments. Hopefully it's working. If you're joining me, leave a comment. So we're going to make these three cards today. So they're featuring all different uh, stamp sets that are in the um, annual catalog right now. And we're going to make these three, aren't they cute? And they all have the same theme of love and friendship. So if you want to get these uh, kits to make this these cards, um, all you need to do is to make a purchase in my online store for uh, $60 uh, before tax and shipping and you will get these sent to you free. Um, so I do have a host code. If you're watching, if you could leave me a comment just so I can make sure that I'm seeing comments um, before we get going. All right, well, we'll just go ahead. It's my, my uh, Facebook seems a little bit slow, so hopefully we are doing okay. Um, okay, I'm not getting comments, so I must be on quiet mode. So let's see if I can fix this. All right, well, we'll just have to go without comments. So I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see the comments for some Facebook reason. So we're going to make this card first. Okay, so this is featuring the Always in My Heart bundle. Um, you, there's a stamp set and then there's a coordinating die. So I don't believe it's a bundle anymore. It used to be. Really beautiful um, floral as well as hearts uh, that can be used for weddings. It can be used for Valentine's. It can be used for just thinking of you. And there's some really cute uh, sayings and I love, love, love the font. So let's get started. All right. So again, I cannot see comments, so I'm not ignoring you. So I have pre-die cut this out. Um, I should have picked out all the little pieces, but I didn't. So let's just get rid of some of these. I'll put them off to the side so that my desk isn't a mess already, even though we haven't started. So are you guys ready for the holidays? I have not even started baking nothing but hopefully I'll get some of that done this weekend okay so we're just gonna get rid of all of that okay and then all the little stubborn pieces that won't come out you can just take the the point of your take a pick tool and do this get them out I should have done this before sorry guys not thinking. There we go. One more. All right. So all we're going to do, this is a super easy card. All we're going to do is we're going to bring in our trimmer and we're going to give this a cut. And I'm just going to do it on an angle. Okay. And it doesn't really matter. I, I did it about an inch from the top, but it doesn't really matter. And you can do it on whatever type of angle you want. If you want it on a really thick angle, like a steep angle, you can do it this way. Um, that looks like that's good to me. And I'm just gonna give it a slice, okay? Oh, I need to get new blades. I better do that sooner on low inventory. And all we're gonna do is, that's gonna go there. And this piece of DSP is going to slide up underneath it, okay? And then we're just going to trim that. Isn't that cute? Super easy, fun way. All right, so let's start putting this together. This is a really easy card um, with very little stamping. I'm just trying to get my dimensionals. All right, 
So I'm going to pop up the white pieces. So I'm just going to put a bunch of dimensionals on the back here. If you're mailing it, you probably want to put a few more than what I'm doing just so it doesn't get squished in the mail. Um, because when it goes through the press machines, if you don't have enough dimensionals, it will, it will get squished. I have my puppy in here today, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Now, you don't want to do what I just did because I don't want these right against the edge um, because I want to be able to slide my DSP in there. Okay. So don't do as I do. Ah. Wherever you guys are, is it snowing? It's snowing here. All right. So we're just going to stick this down just like that. And so hopefully we don't get a lot of snow, but it is going to be kind of nice if we can have a white Christmas. But I think it's supposed to um, warm back up. So whatever snow we do get will disappear before Christmas. So. We're still waiting to see if we're gonna get a white Christmas. And then all we wanna do is slide this in. So did you see why I wanted the dimensionals not right against there? So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here, not a lot, because I want, again, I need to be able to slide it. I don't need glue on the edges because I'm gonna be trimming. So this is uh, one by six, okay? And I didn't give you the dimensionals for the other. Just let me get this in. So the Blushing Bride piece here is just a piece of cardstock cut in half. So this is uh, four and a quarter by 11, and then I scored it at five and a half. And this piece of uh, basic white is three and three quarters by four, and then I embossed it with a time-worn embossing folder. Can you see that? It's really cute. Okay, so we have this sticking here now. So we're gonna bring in our snips and we are going to give it a trim. Just wiped away some of the glue so my snips don't get all yucky and sticky. They're ready for a clean anyway, so that's okay. All right. Hey Lee, how's it going? Yeah, it's snowing here as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stamp our sentiment. So we are using Blushing Bride and this is a really nice one. The best kind of friend is the kind like you. So I'm just gonna stamp it. And before I fold this, there are um, folds in here, but I'm gonna center it and stamp it. I should have had my mat underneath because it is a photopolymer. Let's just hope, yay, it worked. Is he outside running? I have, uh, I have Milo here because my husband had to go to a uh, physio appointment. So I'm just hoping that Milo stays quiet for um, for the class. All right, so you guys probably can't see it, but this die does have score lines. So we're just gonna fold it gently along those score lines just to make a little banner. Okay, so you can just kind of guide the paper to fold and create a band just like that okay so now we're going to pop that off to the side and we're going to bring in our heart and we're just going to glue it down simple as that okay so super easy simple card i'm all about simple these days so I'm just sticking some glue on pieces that are fairly thick because I don't want the glue to come um, gushing out. And we're just going to put it on just like that. So I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm designing for our um, winter escape treat retreat, the flowering tulips. It is a gorgeous set. So I've been having lots of fun this morning playing. Okay, now I have these little um, hearts that again are from the die, uh, not hearts, flowers that are from the dies. And you can see that they coordinate with 
some of the die some of the hearts that are in or some of the flowers. I'm keep calling it hearts. Oh, I need more coffee. Okay, so you can see that it coordinates. So all I'm gonna do, I put these on adhesive sheets, which for all of these intricate dies, you want adhesive sheets and they are in low inventory. So if you don't have any, make sure you get some because they are a lifesaver for putting in intricate dies to your card. Okay, so we're just gonna stick it down. I'm already, this is our first card and I'm already covered in glue. Haha, <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I do love simple cards too. They don't, just because they're simple doesn't mean they're not elegant and beautiful. Um, yeah, Milo was going in and out too, Lee. He was, <laughs> and then, and he doesn't allow us to um, wipe him. So he's soaking wet. We have the wet, uh, he comes in and then he shakes, so it's like, oh, got to go clean my walls now. But I'll wait till it stops snowing because <laughs> it's going to be a full day event, I think, if I do it each time he comes in and out. All right, and then all we're going to do is glue this down just over there and then embellish. And then we are done our first card. Woohoo! I'm realizing that... Um, I forgot to cut an inside piece, but I will show you how I did the inside on my card. And all I'm going to do is stick this down so it's kind of going around the center. And you do have to just hold it for a second, just make the glue remember that it, it wants to stick. Especially if your fingers are sticky and then it comes up with your fingers, <laughs> like mine. <laughs> all right. And the last step is I'm going to bring in some of my elegant faceted gems which are well loved and we're gonna add some bling so I oh, wrong one. I like to do uh, my blings in threes or fives like odd numbers um, so I think for this one I'm gonna do three so I'm gonna stick one there and these ones come in two different sizes do I want it yeah I want it right here and I like to do them kind of in a triangle, um, at least just not in a straight line. So, mm, right about there, well, that works. So there you go, first card of our class. So for the inside, because I forgot to cut, this, all I did was in Blushing Bride, just say, you're always in my heart, and then some hearts. Cute, all right. Let me move these out of the way and we'll bring in our next card. Okay, give me one second. I can't even find my bin. You should see it's like a disaster in here. I'll just move them. We'll just move them out of the way. I'll make a pile. All right. Card number two. Yay. Now I've lost my cards. <laughs> Card number two is this one. So we are going to, so this one is featuring um, the Nature's Harvest Bundle. And I also used the um, sentiment from the Eden's Garden. And I used one of the dyes from the Eden's Garden as well. So it's kind of a two bundle um, card. So let me get all my supplies out of my bin. Okay, and we're using the um, Evening Evergreen. We will be using some blends. And these are the dyes that I've used. So I, I did some ornate frames for um, the white, the basic white. Obviously the the die cuts and then this one I didn't use. I don't know why it's in here. And then I did um, what this one right here for the sentiment. All right, here we go. So this one I have just on the inside, just a very simple 
a reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others. And it really, at this time of year, especially with everything going on with, you know, COVID, it's a great way to reach out to your friends that you aren't able to see. So something like this would be really, would just cheer somebody's day up, right? Okay, let me get all my little bits and pieces out. All my little bits. Lots of bits. So if you do order this class, you will get all of these die cuts for you. You just need to supply the stamp sets and the inks. And if you don't have these ones, you can do other ones that would work, right? So you get all the paper and all the embellishments. So this is scrap. Okay, so we're using crumb cake as our base. Again, this is just one piece of cardstock cut in half. Um, so it's four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored at five and a half. And then we have a piece of evening evergreen and this is four by five and a quarter. And then look at how pretty this DSP is. Um, this is from the Harvest Meadow paper. And this one is just three and three quarters by five. Okay, so all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna glue these two together. Oh, I'm glad I have water. I'm talking too much. I do love the, the Nature's Harvest Bundle too. It's gorgeous. And I haven't had a lot of time to play with it, which makes me sad. But I'm I'm on going to be on holidays this week. I'm so excited. So I'll be able to play. I guess that's one good thing about the pandemic is we, we don't have to, well, it's not good, but we don't have to travel everywhere um, to see friends so and family so we can actually rest and recover from 2021. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm putting glue just on this kind of two thirds of the circle because I do want it to come off the page and we're just gonna stick it here and then we're gonna trim the part that's hanging off. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip it over, get my snips gooey again because I put too much glue on. And there we are. Okay, and then it's really just, um, let's get our sentiment. Okay, and our evening evergreen. So, I can't, hopefully this is straight. Hopefully it's straight. I can't get my head right over. I gotta figure out a better way to, to stamp so I can get my head over the, and, but not have you guys seen my hair. Oh, I'm so happy that Milo is sleeping. Oh, I think all the playing and wrestling in the snow tired him out. So he's behaving, which is awesome. Okay, and then all we're gonna do is we're going to glue this straight onto here, and that is our sentiment. So we just wanna put a little bit of glue here. You can use whatever adhesive you have. Um, I'm just using Tombow because it's here, and I don't have to find my other adhesives. And just stick her down. All right, so we're gonna place this off to the side. Bef we can take our wheat I guess is it wheat and we can just stick it over here so we want it on the circle as well as off the circle so I'm going to bring in my yucky silicon mat I need to clean it and I'm just going to again you want to be careful with the glue you don't need a lot of this of the Tombow a little goes a long way if you put too much on it's gonna squeeze out the side and make a mess of your card. So I just put it on the silica mat so that my work surface doesn't get all sticky. And we're just going to glue it down. I can't wait to, to use this uh, stamp set as a silhouette on some of that glitter paper that we have. See, see what, you, what happens when you put too much glue on? It goes squishy. Okay, 
So we're ready now to do the flowers. So you can see that I have already um, done some, but I will show you how we do those. So we need our memento ink because I'm using blends. Okay, and we're just going to ink up our flower. And you're gonna be die cutting this, so it doesn't matter where you put it on your piece of paper. Okay. And just washing that off. Um, I used Old Olive and Daffodil Delight and some crumb cake. And you could even probably go in with some mango, but I'll just show you really quickly. So I took the light Daffodil Delight and just, I really, I need a new one. I should put that on my list. My tip is going. Okay, so we're just going to color in. I'm just gonna do one, okay? And then I'm gonna come in with the dark and stepping up has made it really easy for us to, to color. So if you go along these lines with the darker one, that's where we should be putting a little bit more shadow. And then I just come in with the bullet end of the light and all I do is kind of move the ink around. Okay. And there you go. See how the two colors, you don't really see the definition, but it just adds some depth to it. And then the inside, you could do this a darker color if you want. Um, I just did a crumb cake. Okay, and again, came in with the darker one along the shadows. And then blended back with the light one. So just bring it all up. And all you're doing is making it so there's not a distinct line between the two colors, okay? For the stems, I used Old Olive. And Again, same, exact same thing. So I just colored in with the light. Colored in with the light. Came in with the dark with the bullet end and just went along where Stamping Up has told us that we should have some shadows or some emphasis. And then come back in with the light and all I'm doing, and you'll be able to see it a little bit better here, is I'm just pulling the dark so it's not a definitive line. Do you see that? We're just blending them. That's why they're called blending pens. We're blending the two colors and when they dry, it'll be beautiful. That's it. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. So I have finished coloring it and I die cut it and we're ready to put it on our card. If I can find my card, here it is. All right, so I'm going to lie this flat and I'm just gonna overlap it just like this. Sim super simple. Um, this one isn't as thin. Ooh, look at all that glue. Let's spread that around. We don't want this much glue because it'll make a yucky mess. So do you have plans this weekend, Lee? Recovering? You've been a busy girl, my goodness. Okay, there we are. Now we're ready to put our sentiment on. And I am gonna pop this up with some dimensionals if I can find where I put them. <laughs> I got my uh, semicircle stuck there. So again, if you're mailing it, you want to put quite a few on so that it doesn't collapse in the mail going through Canada Post's machines. And just pop it down right like that. So we're going to, whoop, I have my inside. I remembered to cut the inside, yay. Um, so we're just gonna glue this to the front. I love, love this color of green. 
the evening evergreen. It's got to be my favorite now. And I'm not a green person. I'm a purple person, but this, love this. All right, now I'm going to bring in some genial gems here, if I can get into the package. And we're just going to add some bling. So again, in um, three or five, so, um, and again in a triangle. So you always want odd numbers. I don't know, nature, nature likes odd numbers. There we go. What do you guys think? I hope you enjoy this one. So for the inside, all I did was stamp. Well, here, let's do it. I have everything mounted. I have the ink here. We can do this. It won't take long. Oh, I didn't do the sentiment mounted. Okay. Let's do that quickly. going to be on a way too big of a block but that's okay so I always keep my pieces um, and I keep them on the back so that I the, my stamps stay clean here's a little trick um, I use my grid paper to line up my sentiments especially if it's a long one so I can see that this main nature's uh, main nature's beauty bring peace to your soul I can see that that's going along the grid line, okay? And then I take my block and I also line it up along the grid line and it should be straight, okay? So I'm doing a different sentiment on here than what we used the original, but that's okay. All right. What, actually, what do I have on the front? Dear friend, how are you? All right, that works. Okay, so we're just gonna ink it up. Stamp it, hopefully it's straight. <laughs> nope, it's crooked, that's okay, we got it back. Ink it back up. There we go, that's better. And actually, I'll keep the green. Let me move this out of the way. And then I'm just going to take this little flower that's on the inside, and I am going to stamp it right in the corner. Put the evening evergreen away. Clean my stamp. And then I'm going to just take this blotchy thing. I'm gonna, this would be a really cool background stamp. Um, and I'm taking Daffodil Delight, and I'm just going to ink up, stamp off, and stamp just randomly around the flower. Okay, it just gives it a little blotch. And we're done, card number two, woohoo! So we just uh, stick it on, and we're done. Do you guys like this one? I hope you do. All right, let's clean up and get ready for our last card. I won't put all this in. I'll just throw it all back in my bin so you don't have to watch me clean up. There we go. And we'll put that there. All right, last card. Last card is... Look how cute these guys are. Hopefully I have enough ink left in my markers um, to do this one. So let me just pull out all the stuff I need so that we have some room here. All right. So you can see I have a clean uh, silicon mat. You'll see why in a moment. And I do need some of these This one will work. I've lost my block. I've lost my marbles too, but that's okay. Okay, so we are using Misty Moonlight on this one and Memento Ink, okay? And look at this, aren't these cute? These are in the new um, catalog, that the new mini 
that will be starting in January 4th. They are called Heart and Home Doilies. So they come in Cinnamon Cider, Basic Gray, and Misty Moonlight. Aren't these pretty? Okay, so we're gonna use one of those. So this one, ha we have a little bit of a trick here. So, okay, let's go through the parts that we have. So we have a piece of Misty Moonlight. It's uh, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, okay? That's our card base. And then we have this little guy, um, which I can't remember the name of it. It's the same, it's the, the uh, I'll post what the name of the paper is. I forget. Anyone remember? Hey, Claire, how's it going? Hey, Sarah. Um, so it's, and I don't even know what the measurements are. Oh, boy. Trusty ruler. Okay, so this is four and a half by one and a quarter, and this will be just a little bit bigger, so another eighth of an inch bigger. So we're just going to glue this together. Okay, don't put too much, don't do what I do. You only need a little, you'll make it a mess. Okay, we're just gonna put it down. Okay, and then we're gonna take our glue dots. You guys that stamp with me know that um, I'm frugal with my ribbon because I use so much of it and my twine that I'm going to put four glue dots, two on the top, two on the bottom, and I'm going to use these to wrap my twine around, okay, so that I'm not wasting twine that no one can see. There's one more coming, okay. And then all I do is I stick one end in, bring it down. I want it to go in across, okay? Stick it in kitty corner, bring it around, stick it in kitty corner, or stick it in the other one, and then bring it up on an angle. I'm almost out of twine, oh no. And give it a snip. Okay, and this is from the annual catalog as well, so none of this is new stuff other than the doilies. Okay, so we're gonna place this and this and, and this off to the side. Now I'm gonna show you a trick. So this bear only comes looking one way. Look at how cute this is. I had to get this, my husband's a kiwi. I had to get it for the kiwi. Um, but we're gonna play with the bear today. So, you can see that the bear is only looking one direction. So we are going to learn how to make um, a mirror image of it. So you can use this on window sheets. Window sheets are a little bit, uh, oh, hey Linda, how's it going? Window sheets are a little bit um, slipperier, okay? So I didn't want to try that on live. So I do have another silicone mat here that is clean. I use this one just for mirroring it. And all we're going to do is we're going to stamp this guy the right way this way. And then we are going to stamp it on here and push this on. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do the mirror image first, just so you can see. So I'm going to ink up the stamp. Okay, and you do want to make sure I gotta re-ink my memento. It's all my stamp seems to be seems to be uh, ready for re-inkers. Okay, so I'm just gonna push it down onto the my silicon mat. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my silicon mat, flip it over, move my ink out of the way, and I am going to just stick him right down on the circle, and then I'm gonna rub. And then you pray. <laughs> you pray that it comes out right. Okay, and then you very carefully peel it up, and you got a bear. 
All right, and then we will re-ink this guy and have him facing the bear. There we go. So you can do this on window sheets as well. And then all we need to do is color. So I'm going to do this really quickly. Um, you can see that I moved it a little bit, but it's okay. No one else is going to notice that it's a little um, fuzzy. He's a fuzzy wuzzy bear. Okay, I really need a new crumb cake blend. This is what happens when you use your blends all the time, is they run out. But I've had these since the blends came out, so how many years is that? And I'm just starting to replace, need to replace them now. And I use my blends all the time. Okay, this is really bad coloring. You guys are not going to color like this. But, you know. And we'll do this guy or girl really quickly. You would take more time. I just don't want you to be bored watching me color. <laughs> am I going to run out? I am. Oh my goodness. We're almost there. Okay, and then you can come in with your dark and just do some of the shadows if you want. You can see the difference, eh? I use my light a lot more. I'm definitely needing new ones. My list just keeps growing. And then I'm going to come back in with the light and I'm just going to blend the two colors just so it's not, I don't have a big blob of a line here. Fix all the spots that I missed. You see how I'm just pulling the, the darker color so that it's blending? And then when this dries, it'll be beautiful. You won't even know that you use two colors. It'll just look like you know how to shade. Cute. For the nose, I did ivory. And heart I just did light real red and there's no blending on the heart you can just stick it in there you go so all we're gonna do is glue this on the bottom you could pop it up if you want I'm gonna actually pop up the whole doily so I just want glue in the middle because I don't want the glue to be popping out the sides of the doily and we're just gonna stick it right in there center it I love these bears they're so cute okay and then we have a piece of basic white which is four by five and a quarter and we're gonna take our sentiment and it says no matter what I'm here for you so again sticking with the themes of love and friendship so what friend do you have right now that is going through a tough time. I think a lot of people are right now. So they would just love getting a card like this just to cheer them up. And that's what we can do with stamping, eh? Is we can reach out to people. Oh, okay. You need to stamp straight, Jen. I swear I need another coffee. There we go. That's straight enough, right? And then we're gonna put this down here and put that right here and our card is done or the card front is done so glue brenda i love this set too it is so cute and that kiwi on there and the kangaroo and oh even even the penguin it's just an adorable adorable set 
So for those of you that joined late, this is the first part of my three-part series where we're going to be doing themed cards um, of love and friendship. If you want to get the kits to make these cards, it's simple, You just and you'll get a PDF tutorial as well. Uh, you just have to make a purchase of $60 or more before tax and shipping on my online store using this host code. Um, and then I will send you the card kits for free so you can make the kits. And if you don't have these stamp sets, you can just use with whatever stamp sets you have. But I do suggest that you get this one. This one is adorable. Love it. Okay. And there we go. Card number three. So for the inside, I did the little koala bears. Um, I haven't put them on, so on... I ran out of blocks, so we won't stamp the inside. But you can see I just did through thick and thin, count me in, and little koalas giving a hug. Look at how cute they are. Love them. All right, so the three cards that we made today are these three here, all featuring different sets, but all with the same theme of friendship and love. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um... Check my blog out for when the next event, when part two is of the Love and Friendship card class. Um, it is in January. I believe it's hmm, 17th, maybe. I can't remember. I forgot to check before we started. <laughs> um, I am having a retreat, a winter escape retreat in February. It's February the 19th. Um, I am joining with two lovely ladies and we are going to be making nine projects together. It's a stamp camp. Um, there'll be prizes, there'll be door prizes and a goodie bag in your kit. Um, the cost is $85 and you get $50 worth of stamping up product in your, um, goodie bag. So, and it's a full afternoon. We stamp for about four hours and, uh, it's going to be featuring one of the new sets in the I'm just trying to find it one of the new sets in the um, upcoming catalog so you can't I can't show you it yet in the catalog but we're going to be featuring the flowering tulip set um, love love this font like how gorgeous is this and it comes with some really cool dies so the dies cut out flowers but they also cut out the stamped image and there's some it's a whole it's a double suite actually it's a mega suite so there's two bundles that come with it but we're just featuring this one in our stamp camp so registration for that ends january 7th so let me know if you have any questions and have an awesome awesome weekend guys and thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate you uh you stamping with me have a great day bye for now